Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mondays with me, Dr. Crystal. And today with me, Dr. Heather. We are back to share more about our fertility journey. Yay. Dr. Heather, what are we gonna talk about today? Picking a sperm donor. Woo! We need some good sperm yep. for, for our children. Only the best sperm for our children. Where did we last leave off? I think we had told you guys we had our first appointment. We were very excited to get going with the process. And so since we last made a video for you, we have continued on and we have gone through the process of picking a sperm donor. Yeah. I mean, start from the beginning. Sperm. <laughs> So our fertility doctor gave us a list of sperm banks that we could look through that they accept sperm from. And so we started there, just place by place. And we went through all of the donors that they had, specifically CMV negative, that really quickly limited the sperm donors. It literally we went from, from like thousands, maybe not thousands, it went from like hundreds to like 50. <laughs> Less than 50. Like it was like. Well, then by the time we added more filters. Oh, that's right. We some added of other the filters. filters that we added. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Let's show a little video of right before we were about to look because it was, we were very excited. Roll the film. So we're sitting down for the first time to actually seriously look at sperm donors and we're really excited. Yep. Um, we have like all the websites up, there's multiple, and so we have a lot to look through. We set our parameters so far as CMV negative because we must do that if you've seen our last video. Um, height. Height. We want someone at least taller than us, but if we get to pick, you know, we pick somebody a little bit taller. Dark hair. Yeah. And um, at least a bachelor's education level in mm -hmm. college because obviously to both of us, education is important. So... Um, and the other things we want our child to have some of our features. We both have dark hair. We don't care what color their eyes are. Yes. And so we're on to start reading the initial intro paragraph. If we see anything that we like, we will look into it further. Yes. Let's do it. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> My eyes are poop. <laughs> but I love them. Heather's eyes are beautiful blue. So, yeah, we wanted somebody who sort of could look like both of us since we plan to use both of our eggs. My my family is very short. Your family, I would say, is like pretty average. Yeah. But like, if we get a choice, obviously we wanted someone who was educated. I would say like a vast majority of the donors were at least in college. Even like the biggest banks, we had like maybe like 35 to 40 to look through. That's a lot, too. I was thinking closer to, like, 15, 20. Yeah, so some of them... Some of them was, like, two to four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I think it was... I mean, you never did online dating, right? No. It was like Tinder. <laughs> it was literally like Tinder. So I was like, mm, wait, what? He likes cats instead of dogs? Swipe left. <laughs> no, no. Juggling, <laughs> actor, like, neither of us are really into that, yeah. that far of creativity. Right. So, like, I mean... Not that anything's wrong with those things. It's just we're trying to look for somebody like us with similar interests because you never know what's going to be passed down to that child. So we're or like, someone we would look at dating or being friends with, you know? Yeah. So into sports, into school stuff. That was spending time with friends and family. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the banks had really good... Uh, expressive paragraphs about the person that was helpful too. Yeah. We just spent many hours looking through donor profiles and I'm exhausted. How many hours was it? I think two and a half ish. <sighs> so right now we have four guys that we like and we have one more bank to look through because it was kind of hard to get the information out of it. So I kind of think just like looking at the website in the end, it's going to be down to those four. What do you think? I'm still hopeful. <laughs> hopeful of what? I hope you're hopeful. No, I mean of adding to the list with the other site. 
The other side didn't have pictures or descriptors about what they look like, and so that makes me nervous. And so you can pay extra money, which all of them you can pay extra money to get more information or like... Well, and there was the one extra site that the link didn't work, the URL address. Yeah, so we have a little more work to do, but we're, we're getting there. And I think any of those four I would be... I would feel comfortable and happy with. Yeah. Yeah, we had four after that first night that we were like, okay, these are guys that we are interested in. Like we could see us potentially picking them. And I think we kind of thought we would go back and like look again or something. Cause like once we were doing it for hours, it was like kind of hard to stay into it and like really give each profile a good look. But, um, it actually ended up like after that and we went back and reviewed like those four a few days later and we had one that just really, really stood out to us. And we were like, oh, th this is our guy. Sounded tall, handsome, athletic, smart. We were like, this is the dude. Had goals, a thinker. Yeah. One thing we forgot to mention is it, it gives... Um, it tells you like how much sperm they had left. So that actually limited what we could pick too, mm, because yeah. some of them said like very limited amount. And so we didn't want to pick that because we know we want both of our kids from the same sperm donor and we want to have enough to try multiple times. if we. And that's to. what our fertility doctor recommended. Don't yes. pick anyone with low inventory. <laughs> yeah. So we found our perfect guy. So excited. One small problem is he is a carrier for a genetic disease. So they do genetic testing on the donors and most of the banks, I think. Mm -hmm. And so he had extended genetic testing and he was positive for something rare that we had to look up. We didn't even remember ever learning about it. And so because of that, we had to get genetic testing because if we were also a carrier, then we could potentially have a child with that sperm donor that could have that genetic disease, which we would not prefer if we can avoid it. Yeah. So we got our testing kits in the mail. We had to sign up, wait for it. It came. They're here, our genetic screening kits. We are so excited and I'm gonna call and make the appointment right now so we can hopefully finalize our donor soon. And there's my coffee. After the kids came, we had to go get our blood drawn. We had to go to a lab and we went together. We took the kids. All right, we are on our way to do our genetic testing and we, I, I'm nervous. I guess I can't speak for you. We are pretty in love and set on this donor, but we're trying not to get too excited until we know we're not a carrier for the thing that he's a carrier for. So, yeah. Um, We'll go get this testing done. I don't think it takes very long to come back. And then uh, hopefully we will get good news and then we can order our sperm. Woo! Yeah. Sperm by mail. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Here we go. So we waited. They told us it could be anywhere from one to three weeks. We're waiting, we're waiting. I called our physician. I think yeah. I hadn't heard we were getting antsy. <laughs> and they looked and they actually were back. And I was not a carrier for anything. Yeah, they literally tested for like, was it, how many things was it? It was like hundreds. It was, I think it was 240 or 200. She had nothing, nothing. And so, you know, I mean, I'm a Harry Potter fan. So <laughs> I was saying that Heather's a pure blood. Like, you know, our kids are going to be superstars because Heather's a pure blood. But mine weren't back yet, and they still didn't come back. We were waiting, waiting, waiting. Suddenly, I get word that there was a quality control error in the lab. Which ba <laughs> Basically, that means that, like, the lab did something wrong with my sample or, like, something went wrong in the lab so they couldn't run it, and so I didn't get results. So then they had to send me a new kit that I could spit in so I didn't have to go to the lab again. All that process took like three weeks before we finally figured out that mine didn't work and we had to get it again. I finally spit in my tube. I made a little TikTok about it. How long did it take then after that? I for think it was about two weeks. Yeah, so at this point, like we are like a month and a half into getting this genetic testing for this donor that over time, we had even more fallen in love with because I feel like we started envisioning like our 
children with this donor. Like we were, we talked about him all the time, like what they said in his profile. And I, I think we, we were just set on it. Like this yeah. was our guy, yeah. but we were trying not to get too hyped up because I still hadn't had my results back yet. Yeah. All this time later, I finally get my results. I actually was a carrier for something, but not the same thing as him. What was it called? I forget. It was a bone disorder. Yeah. I think you were more at risk. It's a congenital bone disorder where you're more at risk of fractures, but I forget. Well, not just more at risk. Like your bones get really thick and brittle and just like break all the time. And so um, I forget what it's called. We're super excited, right? Like, woo! Genetic results back. Back. (laughs) We do not have the same thing as our donor as far as carrying something. And so we are like excited. We know that Heather's period's coming. We're ready to start the cycle. We're like, time to buy some sperm. Two days after I got my results, we're like, okay, we're ready to sit down and buy the sperm. Do you want to say what happened? Not really. (laughs) So we sit down to buy the sperm and it says he has no sperm. It was gone. He's out of sperm. No sperm. Say sperm again. Sperm. Oh, it, it was awful. Like we were, we were so defeated. Like the one time in our lives we really want sperm. I we were gonna buy it, and it's not available. We were willing to pay thousands of dollars for this man's sperm. Two lesbians being denied the sperm that we desired. <laughs> Needless to say, it wasn't a joke. We were really yeah, disappointed. Yeah, we, we were really disappointed. We were really let down. Like, neither one of us really had much to say. We were just so sad. I mean, we knew Heather's period was coming within a couple of days. And essentially, like, two weeks after someone starts their period is when you have to do um, the, the IUI, which is what we're doing first. And so we were like, okay, do we hurry up and pick another donor so we can try this month? Or, like... You know, do we wait? Because we were looking it up. You could get on a wait list. And we actually sat down that night and we tried to look through some profiles again because we were like, all right, so we we need to find somebody new. So we looked some, but, like, I, our heart wasn't in it. No. You could just tell both of us kept kind of comparing to the other one. And we felt like we were trying to force something new yeah start a new relationship (laughs) it really is like I felt like I was already like in love with him I was like thinking about his hair and his eyes I'm like "Mm." he sounds really hot by the way this guy (laughs) so in the end we decided that we would get on the wait list just to kind of see what happened um we learned a lot about that process as well um we found out about when people donate sperm it has to go into quarantine, which we've all heard that word a lot this past year, but it has to go in quarantine for six months. And then in that time, if he tests positive for anything like an STD or something, they would toss all that sperm. So we don't know when he donated. They won't tell us when he donated. So there could be sperm released like tomorrow or it could be five months from now. Like we have no idea. So we decided we would get on the wait list, take a breather, chalk up that month as a loss and then take that time to look for a new donor and hopefully find somebody that we liked just as much. In the meantime, we decided to look again while we were on the wait list. So this time I think we felt a little bit better knowing that there even was a wait list and that he was still active in the program. So you could tell we were both a little more interested still knowing he was a reasonable backup. So we did find a couple guys that we we're halfway interested in, interested in enough to be kind of excited about them. But I felt like every time we saw somebody, we were like, uh, but like, there was like something that was just a little bit off. And it's just like, and I felt like every time, at least like in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, but like that other guy was, was perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, you could just tell. Then not only not a week later, four days later, Crystal texts me. She's like, Oh my gosh, I just looked on the website. He has sperm. It's just a different type that they didn't call us about to let us know about. Yeah. I was like, I've never been so excited about sperm in my life. Meanwhile, I had no idea. Heather's like, I have. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, I had no idea she was even checking the website every day because I thought we were just going to wait for a call. So I was so proud of my wife, Crystal. Usually Heather's the one that's (laughs) constantly checking things, but... I mean, I wanted I wanted this man's sperm. So we called that day and we legit bought all the sperm he had. 
we bought it all. Literal buckets of smoke. Okay, it's yeah. not buckets. It's I mean, as soon as she texted me, I got on my computer. We were apart. So I was in a hotel, actually. I was traveling. Got on my computer. I was in a hotel, too. Oh, we both were. So they had a program where we could freeze the sperm, like, at the facility and save it for whenever in the future. And so we, like we mentioned before, we want the donor to be the donor for hopefully two children and we don't know how many tries that's going to take. We don't know if we're going to end up doing IVF multiple times. We just don't know. And so we want to have enough so that we don't run out. If this guy leaves the program and all of a sudden we have one child and no sperm, then we have to pick a different donor. And I, It's would, not the end of the world, yeah. but preferably we would like the two, two. Our ch two children to have the same sperm donor. Yeah. So, Yeah. We got our sperm. We don't physically have it, but it's sitting in a freezer somewhere in Virginia. I'm telling you, this man's sperm. I would have, I would have drained our savings account for his sperm. Our kids, right. <laughs> our our children are gonna be amazing because of us and that beautiful man. Yeah, it takes two. Takes three. Yeah, Takes okay. three. <laughs> the guy we chose, he does not have an adult picture. Most of them don't. That's the other thing. Like some of them had baby pictures. Some of them had no pictures. And some of them very rarely had adult pictures. Not really any of the guys we were looking at. So the guy we chose actually did have a baby picture. He did not have an adult picture. Yeah. Really cute kid. Mm hmm So we talked a lot, or I talked a lot, about how perfect this guy is. But that's not to say he doesn't have his flaws. Like, I, I think when you're going into something like this, even like a relationship in your life, like nobody is perfect. And so we did see a few things that were a little bit concerning to us. Nobody's perfect, except for you. Mm. <laughs> I just don't want people to watch this and think like, wow, I have not found somebody like right. perfect. Yeah. This guy is not actually perfect, but I think he's perfect for us. He's a great fit. It's of, gonna be amazing. Of all the fish in our pool, he was our favorite fish. <laughs> Cast him out and reel it in. Give me the sperm. Put it in my wife. Now we're just waiting. We're waiting for Heather's next period to come. Day one. On day one of the cycle, we will give a call to our doctor and we'll go from there and we'll take you guys along for the ride. We hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time. Oh, I pointed too early. <laughs>